Today I'm going to be doing a pickups video for a couple things I've bought over the last month or so and I'm going to show them here right now. You'll see some things that you've seen in previous videos. That's because they were brand new when I made those and I needed those things for that video. The first thing I'm going to show I actually picked up just a couple days ago. I uh, went to Walmart and I looked in the case and they had Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE for the Wii U. So this game cost me $11 and right now for the Wii U it is going for $60 brand new. So I thought that was a steal for, uh, for this game because it's I don't know if it's the same game. In fact, I don't know much about it anyway. I've never played it. As you can see, it's still sealed. I haven't opened it yet. And that'll be kind of a thing you'll see is these games I haven't even opened yet. But $11 versus $60, I thought I'd give it a try on the Wii U before I spent that money for the Switch edition. The next game I found the exact same day, also a Wii U game. It is Scribblenauts Unmasked. Now, I don't know anything about this one either, but this was only $1. So for a buck... I was going to, you know, I'm going to pick that game up for sure because it's $1. I'll give it a try at least. Um, a little while ago I went there and they had an, ex not an exclusive, but a, but a game that I didn't think I'd ever see in Walmart. And it's for the Switch. It's called My Friend Pedro. And I didn't know anything about this either. I did some research after I bought it, but it was on clearance also for $11. And uh, it looks like a pretty cool game. Um, I haven't opened it yet, as you can see. I've been working pretty hard on some other videos, but this is like they, it's like a, a game where you gotta shoot like a ton of people all over and it's pretty creative. I'm actually really excited about this game. Um, that one I'm gonna be playing here shortly. I'll probably do a video on it later on. This next one I found just a couple weeks ago not very rare or anything I just saw it for twenty dollars and thought I'd give it a try now I like the Street Fighter series uh, definitely Street Fighter 2 is my favorite because I'm a retro guy uh, but I thought I'd give this one a chance too um, I saw a couple of people post that this is a pretty great compilation of Street Fighter games so I said well, what the heck for 20 bucks I might as well give it a chance uh, also not open haven't played that one yet here's another one too I went to Target about a week ago and I found this one this is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night for the PS4 um, it was on clearance for $11.98 which is you know $12 and uh, I haven't ever played anyone on any of these either it, they say it's like a Castlevania game which I like Castlevania so I thought I'd give it a try um, I'm a pretty big retro fan so I figured hey if someone's gonna make something like that and it's only $12 I'll give it a chance again also sealed here's another game that uh, I got interested in from a different video game I played recently which we'll get to later but uh, I picked up Tony Hawk's underground for the Xbox and you're probably wondering why I picked it up for the Xbox over all the other uh, consoles I could have picked it up for like the PS2 or I think that's the only ones right no did they make it for the PS1? I'm not sure. But I picked it up for the Xbox because uh, you can play this on the th Xbox 360 through HDMI and I could capture footage that way. But there was one problem with that is the controller. So the Xbox controller is not good for playing games like this. I played it on the PlayStation the first time and... I got used to the D-pad on there. So controlling the character with the analog stick on the Xbox was not ideal. However, I did try with one of those, uh, you know, those adjustable D-pads that you can, that are on the 360 controller. It worked better, but it wasn't the same as like the PS2's D-pad or like the PS4 even. So I actually found a solution for that. And I, along with this uh, Tony Hawk's Underground, I also picked up Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2X. Uh, I've had this game before. I have it actually out in my game collection, but I didn't have it complete. 
I found this on eBay. Some guy was selling it for 20. I he had a best offer and I put an offer in for I think it was way low. I think I did 10. He said he'd do it for 11, so I put another offer in for 11, right? A $1 difference. And then he uh, rejected that and I was like, "Well, what the what in the world? You told me I'd do it for 11." He said, "I want 13." I'm like, "Whatever. I'll give you I'll give you three extra bucks. I went. I didn't think you're gonna accept the ten dollars anyway. So, I got Tony Hephox, uh Pro Skater Two X for thirteen dollars, free shipping, and it is complete in there. And I got Underground for eight dollars, and that was also a best offer. I think they wanted fifteen. I did eight, and they took it. Also free shipping. I actually have never played Tony Hawk's Underground. Uh, a lot of people say it's good. I do like Pro Skater 2X though because 2X um, has the second game, which is my favorite out of all of them, and then it has some exclusive levels which are okay. But then you can play the first game is also on this. So being able to play the first game and the second game with better graphics on the Xbox 360 was uh, something I wanted to do for sure. So I went out and I got both of these games, but. To solve that controller problem, I actually went and I found this. So this controller is made by Hori, as you can see here. And Hori made this as a fighting controller. And I wasn't sure it was going to work with the Xbox 360 because it's marketed for Xbox One. But this actually has, let's see if I can unwind it here, a switch on the bottom that you can use on the Xbox One, you can see here, or you can use it on, it will focus, or you can use it on the Xbox 360 or PC. Uh, and the cool thing about this is it has a proper D-pad, which playing the Tony Hawk games, it was awesome for that. Uh, the, that was my biggest gripe, and it always has been about the Xbox, is that the analog stick is in that primary spot, and the D-pad is like down here, right? And it's just a weird place for it. Uh, this controller solves those problems. Uh, I didn't use these too much. Well, I actually used this because it does switch. You can assign different buttons over here onto the shoulder buttons and stuff. I didn't get into that. I actually just used this to do to uh, switch the stance on there. But uh, it worked just fine. I mean, the face buttons feel great. This turns the console on. Uh, but it was hard finding this controller. This controller was... I think it's discontinued, so I went to eBay and I put an order in for one and I think they had it for $50, but I think it was the third day after I bought it and they said they couldn't get to their warehouse to ship it. And so I was like, well, okay, is there anything else I can do? Like, because it was coming up from the Northwest and, uh, they said no, they couldn't get there and that it wasn't going to make it in time. So I canceled it, obviously, and I tried to find another one. I went to Walmart.com. I found one for 60 It also wasn't able to ship. So I figured I'm out of luck. I'm not going to be able to get this. But I then just went to Google, typed it in, and a website called Arcade Shock came up. And they had it for 40 which is the MSRP. And so I bought it uh, right then and there. Uh, then I went to eBay later and it was going for like $160. And there's no way I'm paying $160 for this. Definitely worth $40, even $50, maybe $60. But uh, I would go for $40. I think they have more in stock. I think I'm going to buy me another one just so I can have in case this one breaks. Because it has saved me for Xbox games uh, that uh, were designed for a D-pad. Moving on, I went to BestBuy.com and I found... Real Mist, I think it's even for sale still from Limited Run. I was actually quite sad that I missed this from Limited Run because I like the Mist games, and this is uh, kind of like an open world, not the point and click. It has a, it's a point and click game, but this one you can walk around anywhere instead of having to click over and then it moves for you. This was thirty-five, and uh, I've been f having fun with this. As you can see, I did open it. Uh, it's been a fun one to play. I've it really enjoyed going back to Mist. I probably won't do a video on this just yet, but it's been fun on my free time to play it on the Switch uh, versus like an iPad or something. It's been fun. I've liked Real Mist. Here's one that's uh, been given bad scores and reviews. I found this one at Walmart as well. 
It's uh, Contra Rogue Cores. And this one I got on clearance for $9. So $9, I thought I'd put it, you know, I'd gamble on the on the purchase. Um, I haven't opened it yet. I haven't had time to. I remember seeing the trailer for this and it was not good with the panda and the way the gameplay was. I wish that they would have made just a Contra game, kind of like Contra 4 on the DS. That was an awesome game. I wish this was like that. Um, I'll do, you know, I'll give my thoughts on it once I play it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see on that one. This is a recent one just the other day. I went to, uh, again, my very same Walmart, and they had the entitled Goose Game. I've never played this game. Uh, it was a digital for a long time, and then I heard they were doing physical. I didn't know when the release date was, so I went the other morning, and I found that they had this, the physical version. So I, you know, what the heck, I'll give it a try. It was only like $33. So now I have this uh, physical version. I'll let you know what I think about it. Uh, it looks fun. I think it's fun doing all the shenanigans, trying not to get caught stealing things. And yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll give it a try later on. Um, I picked up the mandatory pickup from Nintendo, which was Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I pre-ordered it from Best Buy for 60 It came late, so the morning this released, I went to Walmart and found it for 50 And um, I have it yet to play it. As you can see, the seal there is still on. Uh, I have played all of these before I, you know, confession time. I've never actually finished any of these, but uh, I'm, I'm planning on playing this for my Switch. It's going to be a good one. I like that I can play it on the go. Definitely, I like my games on the go. As you can see, most of my game pickups have been Nintendo Switch games. Uh, this one will be fun. I'll let you know what I think about it when I get a chance to sit down and play it. So these next two things I got off of Facebook Classifieds, uh, they are Game Boys. So I got a Game Boy Color and I got a Game Boy Pocket. Uh, I really got it for the Game Boy Pocket. It's missing the back cover, but I think I'll be able to get one somewhere. Uh, they were in pretty good condition. This screen on this color is not in good condition, as you can see. It's uh, pretty scuffed up, but I like the color. I didn't have this color. The only other Game Boy Pocket I have, or color I have, is the Atomic Purple, and I have two of those. Uh, one from my childhood, and then I got one used from the classifieds as well. But I mainly got it for this one. This clear pocket is awesome. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. I did get uh, a silver Game Boy Pocket recently as well, uh, but this clear one is really, really cool. I used it a lot, just barely in my evolution of the Game Boy. I think it's just a, one of the most iconic of the consoles that they made, and it was definitely a good pickup. I think I only paid twenty dollars for both, so ten bucks each was a it was a killer steal. And uh, yeah, I was definitely happy I picked these up. Another thing I picked up was uh, something I've been looking for for a while too, and it is in the the handheld genre of games and that is and you've seen it in the, that last video as well the Donkey Kong Game & Watch I found this on eBay as a best offer the guy wanted quite a bit for it but um, it was functional it's a broken right here on the top and it was missing the battery cover which I was able to find a 3d printed version on eBay for like two dollars it doesn't match perfectly but I was okay with it when the guy had it up there, he had it on a clothespin and uh, he had a piece of uh, popsicle stick holding the battery in so it was pinching <laughs> right here. The battery's on there so it would work. But I wanted this Game & Watch because of the D-pad. So I wanted it for the D-pad. Now the D-pad is the first one they made that Nintendo made. So I wanted that piece of history in my collection. It's in really good condition. I talked the guy down from 80 something uh, to $42 with the best offer. I, I did mention that I didn't want the, I wanted the battery cover and he wasn't willing to pay the $2 and he came down 40. So I got a game and watch for a steal. The last pickup I have is the one that got me to buy those other Tony Hawk games. And it's the special edition Tony Hawk Pro Skater 
one plus two, one and two. I don't know how you say it, but it's the one that comes with the skateboard deck. I wanted the game for sure, but I, I actually went under the radar. didn't know that this was coming with a full-size iconic deck from the Tony Hawk games. So when I found that out, I actually bought this night before release, and then I picked it up. Uh, yeah, I got it shipped to my house from Walmart.com. The deck is awesome. I love that it's a real birdhouse deck too. So it's not just a cheap one. You can buy it like, you know, any sports store where it's like the ones that come with everything that's cheap. It's going to break pretty soon. This is a real birdhouse deck and it's got that image on there that uh, is so iconic from the first game. I think it's one of the coolest special editions that ever been released. I don't have very many special editions, but I was going to get this for sure. And I did get it, and it's one of my best purchases. So I bought it for the PS4 because that's the controller I prefer for the Tony Hawk games. And that's what got me to go back and look at the best ways to play the Tony Hawk games on the retro consoles, which was the Xbox, the original. But then it was the Xbox 360 because it's compatible with most of those games. And I was able to get this controller with this D-pad. So I was very happy with these pickups that I got recently. Um, I've already picked up a couple more things. I'm going to do another video like this. Let me know if you like them, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much.